Hey, this is Dave Clark again. Um, this is just a follow-up on the previous video, a couple things that we didn't get to discuss. There's just two remaining items, one of which is the option for uh, refreshing the local cache for IntelliSense. Um, let's see, for example, if we have this statement that we're going to create a table, and then if in the same query window, we said we were going to select from this. Notice IntelliSense has our table there, some table. But that's only because it knows at this point that that table exists. Likewise, if we said drop table dbo dot some table, and then we type select star from dbo dot some, it's not there. It knows, well, by this point when you get here, that it won't be there. So all I'm trying to describe here is that the IntelliSense works here to show it because it can, even though the sum table doesn't exist in the database, it knows that if the above statement were to run, that it would exist. So I could even, um, you know, get the actual tables, or excuse me, the, the columns as well. All right, but what I want to show is that if I hit F5 here, okay, that's great. We get that, and now we take this uh, query. Well, actually, let me just type it in a new window. Select star from DBO dot sum table, and it's not appearing in IntelliSense. Now we can. Um, refresh the IntelliSense by accessing Edit, IntelliSense, and then Refresh Local Cache, or Control-Shift-R. So if I type Control-Shift-R, and then I start typing some table, now that is in uh, the IntelliSense cache. So with um, something that I'm not going to show in this video, but uh, something that I, I actually use that so often, I created a button for it, refresh local cache, that I could just hit that button and it would do that for me. So in another view, a video, um, I'll review uh, how to create the your own toolbars and things like that in, in Management Studio. All right, so that's uh, one of the others was Control Shift R for that refresh of IntelliSense. And the final thing, that I want to spend a little bit of time reviewing is uh, find and replace with regular expression. For example, here's a scenario where we've got uh, the commas at the beginning of the line, but perhaps you prefer them at the end of the line. So one of the things that you could do is you could highlight your selection, hit Control H for find and replace. Say I want to find the comma and replace it with nothing. Okay, we'll hit replace all and there we go. Now, how do we get the commas at the end of the line? Well, in this case, we could, you know, add, say, wherever there's a right bracket, add the comma. Um, of course, we would have to highlight just this section because we wouldn't want to put a comma on this first line, and we wouldn't want to put a comma in our from statement. But let's uh, make it a little more uh, difficult, a little trickier for us. So we'll just take all these brackets out. So for example, if the brackets were not in our list, um, I tend not to write the things with brackets because I make my table name and columns names not have spaces in them or special characters, so I don't need to bracket them. Um, but in this case, we'll say, okay, we don't have our brackets, so now how do we get a comma at the end of each of these? And we don't want one on the last line. Um, one of the things we could do is we could highlight the lines that we want to work with, hit Control H for find and replace, and then choose to use regular expressions. I'm going to choose you check the box views and then we'll select regular expressions. Wildcards are in here as well. I'm going to talk about regular expressions. 
So what do we want to find? Well, actually, let me say, what do we want to replace this? We want to put a comma somewhere. We know that. But what do we want to find? We want to find the end of the line. Now, if you know what the end of the line character is, if you're familiar with Unix, things like that, it's, it's the same. Uh, if you're not, you can click this um, arrow to the right to see what some of the um, more common regular expressions are. In our case, end of line, that's what we want, which is the dollar sign. So we want to replace end of line with a comma. I hit replace all. And there we go. Now we've got the commas at the end of the line. Oh, interesting point. I let me undo that. And well, I can't remember what I had highlighted. I think I had highlighted like this. Notice that these lines above the last line that I have highlighted, they all have what looks to be an extra space highlighted. There's ID and then maybe a space code, C-O-D-E, and then maybe a space. Now if I click here, well my cursor is right at the end. What's that? That's actually the end of line character. So what I had done was I actually, I knew I didn't want to add a comma to the modified date, so I didn't highlight that one, but I only highlighted down to row good. So I would actually have to go one more down. So now notice I've got the end of line character there. So actually on this one, it doesn't matter how far out I go, I could I could have done like this because there's not going to be an end of line character in what I've highlighted here. Or I could do this and go just one extra character out. Hit the control H, I replace end of line with a comma, replace all, and there we go. So now I've got the commas at the end of the line. So those regular expressions, they're, they're um, great for that for uh, searching and, and, and replacing with things that are like uh, tab characters or uh, end of lines or beginning of line. Um, for example, let's go back to our person dot person here. So here we have select star. Let's say we actually wanted to list the columns. You know, maybe we're not allowed to use select star or um, we don't want to do that in case the structure of the table changes. We want to actually list our columns. So uh, we have our person dot person. And here's actually another tip I hadn't counted on, but in case you don't know this, the, in the object explorer on the left, you can actually select the columns folder and drag it onto your query window, and it will put all of the columns on there for you. Now, one of the things it does is it puts them all in one line, left to right. If you like that, great. No need to do anything else. If you want each column to be on its own line, we can use regular expression to accomplish that. So I'll hit Control H for the find and replace, and I want to find the comma space and I want to replace it with a new line and a tab, two tabs, and then a comma. So we notice here that our new line or line break is backslash n and our tab is, is our tab not listed? Well the tab is Maybe I'm just not seeing it. It's backslash T. You can also hit this for the complete character list. And it will, you know, I don't have this size properly, but it will uh, take you to a page on Microsoft where you can see everything. So here we go. Tab is backslash T. So we're going to say, comma space so it will, it will start with this part right here replace with new line then tab tab comma now I have this set to look in selection which means look in what I have highlighted you could also do that for the current document all open documents current project or solution I tend to just do it for whatever selection I have. Even if I want to do it for everything, I'll just hit Control-A to select all and then 
do the find and replace. So now all I have to do is go ahead and hit replace all. And there we go. We've got the, um, uh, the query in the format that we like it. Now, I know some of you may, may have some Management Studio add-ins or third-party tools uh, that kind of clean up the SQL statements to the way that you like them. So if you already have those, great. If not, the regular expressions make it very easy to um, quickly change a bunch of lines for you. Uh, another example might be, well, actually this query, for example, I'm going to copy all this, and I'm going to go to a uh, my Hotmail account, and let's say you know somebody's going to send you this query, and they paste it in HTML format, and then there you go. So this is what you get. It comes out, you know, with all these spaces and everything in there. So when you copy that back. And try to paste that in. Wow, that looks a mess. So we have to understand what what's in here. So there's a bunch of new lines and then a space. And so what we could do, and this one, yeah, this is actually really messed up. <laughs> but a, one of the quick fixes we could do is just Control H, look in current document, find new line and replace with nothing and then that gets everything on one line or if we had done uh, how many of these are there one two three four so we could say find the four new lines two three four and replace that with nothing, which basically means delete all those. And then we have it looking more in a format that, that we're used to. Um, OK. And let me think if there was another example I wanted to show with those. Oh, there might be another common scenario. Um, so here's a query from the person by person. I just I don't need to change that, but well, here's these results. So let's say somebody sent you a list of last names to f find only these rows. So I'm just going to highlight a bunch here. So we can add where. Whoops, last name is in and then paste. There we go. Our last name is in these. Oh, well last name is a string. So how do we you know do this? This is how we normally do it, right? We gotta add a single or comma single quote, comma single quote, up arrow, comma single quote, up, and then go through all that. Well with the regular expression replace, we could highlight all these, control H beginning a line is caret, replace with comma, single quote, replace all, and there we go, except our first line, of course we don't want a comma in there. Um, and then for end of line, control H, dollar sign for end of line, replace with single quote, look in my selection I've highlighted, replace and there we go. Now we've got all that done in a matter of a few seconds rather than, you know, 10, 15 seconds of retyping everything. And then our query works perfectly. All right. Uh, I think that's all that I wanted to go over today. That was the uh, refresh local cache with uh, a little teaser for another video. We'll go over on how to add buttons, things like that. The ability from a table, you can drag over the column list. And the regular expression, search and replace. All right, I hope you found some of that useful. Thanks a lot for watching, and have a great day.